26 Precision Forecast Center. Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. High temperatures were running about 10 degrees above normal today, but it is going to start to cool back down. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. Highs tomorrow will be mainly in the upper 30s, mid 30s over the weekend, 20s on Monday and Tuesday, and then lower to possibly mid 30s by the time we get to next Thursday. Right now we are looking at upper 30s to lower 40s across northeast Wisconsin. Just about everybody was in the lower to mid 40s during the afternoon. It's now 42 in Fond du Lac, 42 in Oshkosh, and we're looking at 39 degrees in Appleton. High temperatures have been above normal for the last eight days, and the above normal temperatures today came with lots of clouds and on and off rain showers. And the rain showers actually were a little beefy at times during the morning, a soaking rain, a brief soaking rain at times as this whole area of showers moved through east central and northeast Wisconsin. But this evening, conditions have dried out and we've got dry weather in the forecast for the rest of tonight and into tomorrow. The satellite picture shows a weak cold front moving across Wisconsin this evening. Behind it, high pressure is building in and that will be our main weather maker for later on tonight into tomorrow. Underneath that ridge of high pressure today, it was cooler. Temperatures were only in the mid to upper 30s across northern Minnesota and North Dakota. Cooler, but still way above normal for early December. Those conditions will be dropping south and east into Wisconsin for tomorrow afternoon. So highs tomorrow running about 5 to 8 degrees cooler than what we saw today. But once again, still above normal for this time of year. We can expect 36 in Bailey's Harbor. Look for 38 in De Pere, right around 38 in Embarrass, 39 in King, and close to 40 degrees in both Princeton and Oakfield. Precision cast shows clouds mixing with a few stars throughout the night. And then tomorrow, clouds mixing with some sunshine. So even though that ridge of high pressure is going to be moving over, we're not going to see a totally sunny day. There's going to be a lot of overcast conditions out there. And then we'll be watching a weak little system for Saturday morning. It's going to produce some light snow or flurries, and then we turn our attention to the bigger system that we've been talking about for the last several days. Yesterday, it looked like one big storm would roll out of Colorado Saturday evening and then head north and east towards the Great Lakes for Sunday for us. Now it looks like the system will actually come at us in two pieces, one piece across the north, the other piece across the south. What does this mean? Well, it means that we never really tap into the abundant Gulf moisture. And with the northern system being the primary system, it looks like the warm air could be drawn in just a little bit more than what it was looking like yesterday. Having said that, it still looks like most of us will probably end up with a significant snowfall as we head through Sunday. I'll have uh, official snowfall forecast from NBC 26 tomorrow. All right, your forecast for tonight calls for mostly cloudy skies. Overnight lows will be in the upper 20s. Tomorrow, clouds mixing with some sunshine. Cooler highs mainly in the upper 30s on Saturday. Some morning light snow or flurries, then lots of clouds for the afternoon. Look for highs in the mid 30s on Sunday. Snowy and windy. High temperatures will be in the 30s. A mix is possible. Right now it's not likely, but you know, there could be a, a little bit of rain mixing in, especially towards the lake shore and across the far south and east. Light snow or flurries on Monday, windy and colder highs only in the 20s. Tuesday, maybe a flurry, cold highs in the 20s, and then lower 30s by next Wednesday and Thursday. Much more typical weather for early December as we move through next week. We've been pretty lucky so far. Well, that's one way to look at it, or unlucky, right. <laughs> if you like snow and cold. <laughs> and it's time to take a look at tonight's light. So imagine what it's going to look like when there's snow on the ground. Here's a beautiful home with a Mickey Mouse theme. The owner